In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how to set up your um, assignments and essays using MLA format. MLA is the format that you're going to be required to use throughout the semester. So uh, you have the link um, in the online classroom that takes you to the uh, online writing lab of uh, Purdue University. It is an excellent, excellent resource. So please take your time and look through that as much as you can. But I also thought it would be really helpful for you to get a visual. So um, the online writing lab uh, from Purdue is going to give you kind of the written requirements. Uh, and I will show you how to accomplish those requirements. So I have open, obviously, just a blank Word document. <clears throat> And the first thing that you want to do is change the spacing. This is a default uh, that comes with the, the more recent years um, of Word. So if you have a really old version, you probably won't have to do this. But if you have these boxes up in the version of Word that you're using, you need to do this. So right now you can see that the normal box is highlighted. That means that the spacing um, is, is what it calls normal. But it, it doesn't mean no spacing. So if you... If you um, see this, oh, it looks like it's double spaced, okay? But, it, but it's actually not quite double spaced. So what you need to do is click no spacing and that's going to take out any additional spacing in between, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. That's why you need to do that. You wanna clear all the spacing so that when you do double space your paper, it's not, um, I think it equates to about two and a half spacing and you don't want that, you just want double spacing. So again, First step you wanna do is click no spacing. Also, um, just a quick note, your margins uh, for MLA just need to be one inch um, on the top, on the bottom, on the right, and on the left. This should be the default for Word, uh, so you shouldn't have to miss uh, with that at all. But the next thing you want to do after you uh, fix the spacing of your paper is add a page number. So you go to the Insert tab, click on Page Number, um, put your cursor over the uh, top of page option, and then you want to click on the page number that's aligned to the right. Okay, and then you just put in, oh, not late, not your late name, there we go, your last name, uh, and then your page number will be um, automatically put right there with, with your name, but you do have to insert your name with that. Um, also, another thing you need to know, usually the default for Word in a heading is, I believe, size 10, maybe 11, size 10 or 11 Calibri, and you want all of your font on your paper to be size 12 um, times New Roman. So when you're still in your header, um, you can just highlight that, come over to home, and then change your font in the size 2 times, um, times New Roman size 12. Mine isn't... Um, isn't Calibri, because I changed the default, you can do that by clicking on this button um, and, and going in and setting as your default. So um, I believe that the newer versions of Word may even start out with Calibri as being um, the standard font for the entire paper. And if and if it if that's how your Word is you know functioning, you need to change that. Uh, and if you don't want to change it every single time, again, just kind of click on this little arrow button click on the set as default, and uh, that will take care of that for you. Okay, so we've got a page number. We make sure that it's size 12 times New Roman. Double click off of the header, and then bam, you have a lovely page number. And what's nice about doing it this way, when you insert a page break, say to do a works cited page, your page numbers just automatically are added to your paper, which is exactly what you want. All right, so let's talk about your heading. Again, make sure that your font is um, Times New Roman size 12. Uh, the first thing that you want in your heading is the student name, your first and last name. Then you want, oh, this darn, darn thing went back to normal spacing, so we gotta make sure it's on no spacing. There we go. Then you put my name, the course number, English 251, and the date. Technically, this is how your MLA um, date should look. I'm not going to be that picky, so if it's September 9, 2014, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, highlight all of that, hit Control 2, boom, and you will have a lovely um, double-spaced heading. All right, then you hit Enter one more time. It should still be double-spaced. This is where your wonderful, amazing, creative, and engaging title goes. 
you want to align your, align your uh, cursor back to the left, hit tab, and this is where you can begin your paper. So remember that every body paragraph needs to be indented. You always need to have a title um, with assignments that require it. Make sure you have a works cited page. I'll make a separate video for that. But this is the basics. So make sure that your, your font is um, size 12 times New Roman, one inch margins, double space. Make sure that your no spacing option is selected and make sure that your page numbers um, are size 12 times New Roman as well. Those are the tricky things that students often miss. Um, and really when you look at it, it's quite obvious when it's the incorrect font or the incorrect size. So I hope this was helpful. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, but welcome to the wonderful world of MLA.